I'll tell girls sometimes I have a micro penis, mm -hmm. and I always like to gauge the reaction and see if they'll still fuck with me or if they're out. And like that says something about them too. It's like a test, you know. I'm just dipping my finger in the water. Yeah. Obviously, like what Logan does is kind of dumb, like going and like seriously with conviction telling people you have a really small penis. It's stupid, but. So I'm gonna be honest, from my last video with Logan Paul in it with Mike Malak, Malik, Malik, I'm still learning it, and Lana Rhodes, uh, I got to see a little bit of the new Logan Paul, and honestly, I wasn't mad at it. It got me thinking, why don't I react to Logan Paul and see how he's changed, see what his stance on dating is, and see how he interacts with his new girlfriend, Josie. I've been watching more Logan Paul videos and his personality is growing on me. His videos are growing on me. Not saying I love him yet, not saying he's my favorite YouTuber yet, but it seems some of the stuff that he talks about in his videos and in his podcast it starts to resonate with me a little bit. And I think it can do a lot for the young YouTube audience that watches his videos. So I'd like to take it a step further and really dive into what he's talking about in his videos and the dynamic that him and his girlfriend Josie have. So let's get started. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm glad still, you survived. Well, Thanks. speaking of, of females, you just went on a date last night. Are we doing Me? this? You are, we, did. are we doing this? You indeed did this. Okay. I Can I be honest with you guys? You don't want to? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna cry, bro. Oh. I'm so emotional. Oh, shit. Stop it. Stop it, bro. You What'd see you my, my eyes, bro. I'm emotional. I don't, I don't understand what's happening right now. Did she, did she, I'm about to say some cheesy sad. shit. I'm about to say some cheesy you're, you're shit. You're crying on the show. Well, do you have yet. a therapy session? Like, what no. you do? Dig into your inner traumas? Just no. let it out, man. Just let it out. I'm about to say something so cheesy. Get in there, bro. Here it goes. Oh my god, it's so cheesy. I'm cringing just thinking about saying it. What's what the what the fuck are you doing right now? So we, we do a lot of self-life exploitation on this show. It's true. Right. We talk a lot about our lives and we open up a lot. Exploration. But the girl I went on a date with is not a girl. She's a woman. Mm. A very respectable, respectable, mm. driven, passionate, independent woman. She doesn't and, have a political. And as, as much as I'd like to talk about it on the podcast for your entertainment, I think I'm gonna move that relationship to my private life. Ooh, wow, that's a very, very cool. Yeah, that's angle. a good move. We all support and, that. And, yeah, and, totally. Dude. In hindsight, I'm actually I I I unfortunately do regret talking about it in the first place because like it, it's it's like the more you hang out with someone, the more they become like a. This is weird, but like you, you know them for who they are. They become a fully fledged three D human versus just meeting someone for face value at five minutes. And then so we when spend you met her a lot the first of time, time with them. she was a two dimensional. She was just like a, a uh, so 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 you kind of like three D printed. Open up your mind here, right? So when you first meet someone, you don't know anything about them. They might as well be like a two D person to you. But the more you get to know them, they become this three D fully fledged out complex <sighs> human being. With, I'm having trouble with the, with the comparison. When I meet people, pretty much you, everyone I've I met, whether I know them or not, or know anything about them, they generally are in the same dimensional characters as me. Mm -hmm. I, so that's I've why never I said, met it's a like, flat That's why I said open your mind, like live in an analogy land. What, what if you <laughs> jump it up to like, when you meet someone, they're 3D, but then once you get to know them, it, it's 4D. Can, can you guys just like, please just open your mind for one second. I just love that these bros, <laughs> are just attempting to get into a little bit of a deeper conversation with each other. But they just hit a wall so quickly. <laughs> and it seems Logan Paul is really attempting to go there, but the others just can't really get there with him. I know exactly what Logan's talking about. When you first meet a person, you don't really get to know them so well. You kind of just make up a very quick sketch of who they are. And that's what he means by 2D. As you really get to know somebody, get to know their vulnerabilities, get to know their passions like he talks about, get to know their purpose in life, that 
2D sketch turns into one of those photo realism pictures. You ever see those on TikTok or on YouTube when you see one of those pictures that you think is an actual picture or maybe something in real life and then you find out quickly that somebody like drew that or painted that. The painting gets so much more deep and rich. And Logan, apparently a year ago, because this was this was released a year ago, he was starting to see somebody where he started realizing that was possible in a woman. Now, I don't know if he felt this ever before in a woman that he's dated uh, previously. However, it's obvious that at this time in Logan's life, and this is probably in his early 20s, because I know that's where he is, um, he is learning that attraction for a woman goes far beyond just the looks. Now, to a lot of young people that are watching this, and a lot of older people, <laughs> looks is really, let's be honest, kind of all you start out to be attracted to. At a certain point in your life, hopefully, you realize that you don't really even experience attraction until you truly connect and find that chemistry, find that real sexual attraction to the person through getting to know them and them getting to know you, having that fun together, joking around with each other. You don't actually feel sexual attraction until that point before it's more of just a validation, trying to validate your ego with that person. That feeling when you have real attraction to a person, it like skyrockets. Your emotions skyrocket. It goes crazy. You feel really, really strongly about the person that you're with. That is true attraction. And that's what Logan in this moment right now has realized. Now for me, I didn't truly start feeling like this until maybe like 24. I don't know how old Logan was in, in this, like 22 or something. I don't know, but I only really started feeling this around 24. And then from there on, it just kept growing. And I'd say at maybe like 29, that hit me really hard. And I really couldn't even get turned on by somebody until I got a strong connection with them. And I always wondered all my life, I always wondered why is it that girls don't really get attracted to somebody, feel a strong like, an attraction for somebody until they have that connection with them. It always confused me until I reached probably about, yeah, like 27, 28, 29, that area. Um, I started realizing that. and. Uh, it is so much better than just a very quick physical attraction. Anyway, let's move on. I can see what I'm saying. Like that, you know, I think you're asking me. I think you're asking me to close my mind. Yeah. Like, honestly, I don't fucking like I think like you're it, asking dude. us to go back to the Stone, stone Age. Stone Ages, bro, or dimensions didn't exist. Or was this interstellar? Like, what's good? Listen, the point is, when I met her, like Mike is just like teasing Logan when he's trying to get serious. Yes, I knew she was a woman, but I didn't know much about her. I didn't know how much like we we like connected and could relate to each other. And now I'm like, oh, there might be something here. And I regret uh, potentially threatening or even ruining that for, although it is the number one podcast in the world, like I do got to keep a little bit of my life to myself a little bit. I, res I respect that. You know? I and, and, and I want to say this really, really quickly. Um, while I also respect this quite a bit, I also have to say, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Stop being a bitch and tell us how the date. It was awesome. This, okay, it was you. so thank good. You. It was great. It. No, it was sick, dude. And I wasn't sure because she was going to be older and she wasn't sure too because I was going to be younger. But something, there's just like that through line of uh, connectivity that two humans could 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 relate to and walk on. And it was awesome. Last note, are you a changed man? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay. But, but and, and, and to, to, to prove to you that I am not indeed yet a changed man, can I give you two quotes that girls other than that girl have given me in the past two weeks that I thought are really funny? Yeah. yeah. Like when girls say funny things, I I really like it because mm -hmm. it's funny and I like funny things. That's good. That was how I like me. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, that is why I like you because you're funny. Thanks, Jimmy. Yep. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's funny. One girl. This is where I am 100% just exploiting my life. One girl saw. I, uh, I I'll tell girls sometimes I have a micro penis. Mm-hmm. 
you know, to, mm-hmm. just to just to gauge the water, see if they'll stay in there. Well, and you set expectations real low. Yeah, like you can only improve, right? Yep. And, and by the way, uh, a true micro penis, it's it, like it's a condition, right? Micro penis, micro penis, they call it in, in biology. Um, it's it's a condition. What, what it's just a. Genetic I mean, it's exactly, it's exactly what it is. Pretty much, yeah. very small and, venus. Some yeah, book calls it um, dwarf, dwarf dick dwarfism. Mm. Someone re- actually hit me up on IG the other day and said, "I've got a bad case of dick dwarfism." I see. And I said, "I'm pretty sure they make a cream for that. You just have to go to CVS." I don't think the cream works. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, the FDA said it didn't work. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, fair enough. But uh, yeah, so so sometimes I'll tell girls that, and uh, I don't know why I do it. I think it's because I think it's because I. It's almost like a, de- a deflecting with comedy type uh, self-deprecation thing because I have, you know, I have the big truck and I'm like a big dude and uh, sort of like an alpha type guy. Mm-hmm. And so I'll tell them just at some point in the night, you know, I have all these things to compensate for my macropenis, my micropenis. And so, <laughs> and I always like to gauge the reaction and see if they'll still fuck with me or if they're out. And like, that says something about them too. It's like a test, you know, I'm just dipping my finger in the water. Yeah. And uh, some girls will be like, Oh no, I'm a woman and I know what I want. I'm out. And some girls are like, no, really? Let me see. Let me see. So one girl's like, sorry, wait. There are girls that hear you say that you have a micro penis <laughs> and they don't fuck with you after this. They yes. Act, because here's like you're saying they believe you when you say that. Yeah, bro. I tell them with 100 percent conviction, and I don't let the joke die. For <laughs> for at least five to ten minutes, I I stick with it. Wow. Who, and, I, can, I, I don't, I'd like to know a single girl that you're talking about. Like, tell me after. Uh oh. Secrets. Shut the fuck yeah. up. Yeah. And she, and so no, she believed me. No, that's BS. No, she they believed used me. it as an out. No, she, she used believed it me. as an out because she was about to get that. No, she wasn't. From, from she, the brand. She team. wasn't. From the what? From her, the, her brand. Team. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she wasn't. Um, And so she, uh, you know, can I see? Like, show me. I want to, like, everyone wants to see a micro penis. And so, um, obviously like what Logan does is kind of dumb, like going and like seriously with conviction, telling people you have a really small penis. It's stupid, but I would say that there's another side to it. And I would say that what Logan is actually attempting to do in the way that he explained it, he says, listen, I kind of have an alpha vibe. I'm a big guy. I got a big truck. And so I want something that kind of balances that out. And to me, this is Logan attempting to try to filter out women that would only be attracted to his alpha side because it seems as though Logan does have a softer side. He does have a more of a childish, playful, kind of uh, not so bro-y side and he's, trying to at this point in his life trying to communicate to that that to women and filter out the wrong ones which he was talking about which is actually a really great thing to try to do but telling people like a lie about yourself and a stupid one with such conviction as a way to do that it's just ineffective it's inefficient it's not a really good way of doing so what's a better way of doing it How about just show your true personality? Show the weird sides of you, the vulnerable sides of you. Don't make up a fake vulnerability. That's still fake, buddy. Show your real vulnerability instead. That's true confidence and you get to filter out people just as quickly or even more quickly and filter in the right women. Because guess what? If you're telling women that you have a micro penis and you're doing it with conviction, then you're really only going to attract women that like the alpha side of you and like micro penises. Why would you want to do that? Why not show the alpha side of you, show that bro side of you, because that's obviously who you are, and then show that other side of you as well, the one that you're hoping to attract women with, the, hope, the one that you're hoping to connect with the women that you really like, right? Why not just show them your real side, your real vulnerabilities, your real weirdness? It's such an easier thing to do. It's more fun because you actually get to show your real side and that person gets to show their real side and you can connect much more quickly. Logan, come on, boy. But I see where you're going. Again, listen, 
I'm 36, I keep saying it, but like, I understand he's really young. When I was young, when I was that young, I probably would be telling people I had a micro penis too, just for fun as my way of filtering people out, just because I wasn't there yet. So I get it. What is life like for you right now in quarantine? Is it just you and the bird? It's just me, the bird, a couple of homies, a girl. Wait, who's this girl quarantining with you? You know, you threw it out there. I did say that pretty early on, huh? The last time I talked to you that you had made a list of what you wanted in a Oh partner. my God, I did tell you that. This is from my future wife. Just like try to check as many of these boxes as you can. Girlfriend qualities, wit, confidence, mm. intelligence, opinionated, empathetic, self-aware, active listener, sexual deviant. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm gonna guess right now is I'm sure Logan Paul has had his pick of any kind of woman that he wants to date, hook up with in the time that he's been famous um, in the past couple of years. And I bet you, because this is what happens to most guys that get experience with women, is after a while they go, yeah, I mean, I've hooked up with all kinds of beautiful women. I am now looking for something more, something that I could really dig deeper into. And this is why I could see him getting very specific about what he's interested in. This is good dating. This is what you should be doing. You should have qualifications for who you're interested in. And when you meet people, I don't want you thinking about it consciously, but it should be in the back of your head, you know, marinating with every person you meet and just kind of feeling it out. I don't want you having that list with every person you meet. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Keep having fun, keep dating, but then afterwards, let it kind of soak <laughs> those qualifications and be like, yeah, how did, how did that, how did that one match? Women, you could do the same thing with men. Everything I talk about here is always going to be by gender. <laughs> it's gonna be co-ed advice. So good on you, Logan. I like what you're talking about here. It shows that you're evolving as a person. Don't be a sexual deviant. Tell me you don't, you don't want your wife to be a sexual deviant? Come on, <laughs> guy. <laughs> Talented, worldly. She gotta have foresight and she gotta be insightful. Then you were hanging out with Josie Conseco, like a few weeks after that. Yeah. So what happened there? Is she the girl that's staying with you? <laughs> yeah. Aww. It is her. Yeah. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Aww. You could see the light side of Logan right here. You could see that he, you know, he really likes Josie. You could see that he's. this is not just a hookup. You could see that this is not just a kind of like PR move that he's making. You could see he actually likes her. <laughs> okay, wait, walk me through how this happened. You walk with me. <laughs> you, you're the one that told me all of this. I know, but something I do is exploit the shit out of my life and I don't know if I'm ready to exploit that part of it just yet. Okay, well, can I play you a message from somebody? Uh, yeah. It's from your brother, actually. And it's another good thing that shows that the reason why he doesn't want to exploit that part of his life just yet is because he actually likes the person. He actually wants to see where it goes. This is a quick maturity in Logan, and it's likely because of the controversy that happened a couple of years ago. It woke him up real quick, and he's growing up, I think, faster than obviously he would have if that controversy never happened. He's growing up faster than probably I was at his age. I keep, I don't really know how old he is. He could be like 25 <laughs> right now, um, but I'm guessing he's like, I think he's like 22 or 23, which is, it's pretty young. Oh, okay. Hey, Logan, it's me, your brother. Hi, uh, me and the rest of the world want to know, are you single? Who are you dating? Tell us. <laughs> I know there's somebody, I think. I can't, I can't, I can neither confirm or deny. Well, you, already, you, already, you already confirmed it. He knows. I don't know what he like. How did you get him to do that? He was with me the whole. I didn't week. even. Ask, I just said, "Will you tape a message that I could play him?" And that's what he chose to ask you. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what do you want from me? You know, I'm. I'm just a boy. We just want to know. I just want to live know. a stable, normal life, but normal <laughs> life. But it's hard because I, I put everything on camera. So some things I try, I try just a little bit to to, to keep to myself. 
Yeah, that's fair. Then one more thing about it. Okay. Does she does she check off all the things on your list that you gave to me? Nope. <laughs> she doesn't? No, what girl? That, the list I described is a unicorn. And I realized this. Relationships are about compromise. If you, if you have a checklist and the person that you're with checks off every single box, I mean, good for you. I envy that person. That is insane. I think the idea the idea is to get in a relationship and grow with the person as they develop traits that you're attracted to. Yeah. And so while while she definitely checks off the majority for sure, you know, just like me, we both got stuff to work on. Yeah. How'd you meet her? I think just like the crossing of LA circles, like it was like a Venn diagram, you know, like I'm over here, she's over here, and then we went like this one night. Yeah, just like I explain in a lot of my videos, he's saying basically social circles colliding. It's people that are in the same world, people that can make friends with each other, people that trust each other. So when they hook up, when they start dating, they know that they're not going to, you know, spill the beans on Logan's private life. Um, that's not to say that, you know, Logan probably is not hooking up with random people, but he's probably not doing it as often as he is hooking up with people through his network. Again, popular people, this is how they date. Um, and if you're not dating like this, I recommend you do. Form your own tribe, build your own tribe with a friend. You don't have a friend, make friends. I would say if you're interested in getting with somebody that you're really attracted to, you wanna get into a relationship with somebody, I would say focus on making really good friends who share your personality, share your humor, and share your passions and interests and your purpose in life, and then network with each other, network, build a social circle, and you will naturally find women or men like that, rather than trying to get really, really, really good at pickup lines and what you say and going to a club and hitting on every person. That is going to be a much, much more difficult and inefficient, ineffective route to take. That's more for fun. That's more for challenging yourself. That's not for actually results. If you want results, you build a like-minded tribe, just like Logan here has done. I'm on my date with Josie. By the way, first date. Oh. First date for we've been dating for a while. We've been dating for like a month, a little more, but we've been talking for like six months. One of those situations, and uh, we went out. Technically, our first date. <laughs> why? Why so? Why so long before the first date? Because of COVID, right? Like you couldn't go out to yeah, dinner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, okay. I could I could have done it, but like I don't know. I just. I mean, this will lead into what I'm about to okay. say. So, <laughs> halfway through the date, she goes, "Hey." Have you ever been on a date before? <laughs> what? That's so bad. I, that's got to be the I worst said, thing you I can said, do. I look at her like, am I a bad date? <laughs> she's like, she's like, no. But bro, she's so nice. And I know she's, she meant I was a bad date. So I kept crying. I'm like, Josie, I'm a bad date. Admit it. And she's like, oh, no. Just like, we haven't really, we haven't really like talked about anything. And I'm like, Josie, I'm going to be honest. I'm so fucking high right now. I, I don't Wait, even you know were stoned I, again? I was stoned at Nobu, yeah. yeah. I, there's just a lot going on. And, and you know me, when I smoke, bro, just become a uh, sock, a tube sock. <laughs> just Barely. worthless. Barely. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Danny asked why he would smoke right, on his right, first right, day. Right, Get out, shit! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> no, but anyways. I'm fucking not, Josie. I'm not a bad date. I'm a good date. But she's right. I didn't ask her enough about herself. And we started talking about politics yeah. and, and police reform, aliens, things I'm into. And she's just not into aliens. She doesn't care so much about the idea of aliens visiting Earth and us communicating with them and me being the lazy liaison between humans. What'd you do? Would, that, that, would, creature. that would be you, though. But again, <laughs> I just want to bring it up. Logan talks about what he wants to talk about. He talks about his interests. That's not to say don't ask questions. Don't bring up things that she may be interested in. But then there's the th third thing, and this is what never to do. Don't just talk about things that you think that person wants to talk about, because then you're never gonna actually have a connection. It's gonna, only gonna be one-sided, and that person's not gonna see any sense of purpose or passion in you. So you must take a risk whenever 
you are making friends or flirting or going on a date, you must take a risk. If you don't take that risk, guess what? You are never, ever, ever going to build attraction because people say taking a risk is attractive. I don't really even think of it that way. I just talk about saying you have to have a sense of purpose inside of you and people are attracted to a sense of purpose. That in itself is a risk. It's a risk to somebody that's scared, but I don't want you thinking about, okay, I have to take that risk. I want you thinking about what is my purpose? And I would never sacrifice my purpose for what that person might want of me. Logan's just exemplified that. Listen, <laughs> how weird is it to talk about being a liaison <laughs> between humans and aliens? <laughs> it's like such a random passion <laughs> and sense of purpose. His purpose in life is to be the <laughs> liaison between aliens and humans. <laughs> and his passion is to talk about it. Um, but I love that he's confident about it. I love that he'll go on a date with somebody that he's really attracted to, that a lot of people find attractive and confidently talk about that. What he needs to work on, apparently, is getting to know what she's into, what her passions are, getting her weird side out as well. And I'm sure they did that eventually after the first date. <laughs> but, but yeah, take a tip from Logan, find Find what your passion is, find what your purpose is, and then let that freak flag fly, baby. In those situations, because simultaneously, at the same time, on my trip to Laguna Beach, I had Amara telling me that I don't uh, partake in enough meaningful conversation with her. What? So, 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 it, which seems very, which, from a, from a girl's perspective, or from, you know, Amara's perspective, at least, let's say, was basically her way of saying, yo, I don't care about talking about aliens or that kind of shit, because that's what I'm trying to talk to her yeah, about, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. What are we supposed to talk to them about? Mike is bringing up something important, but he's not right on the mark. He does want to talk about aliens because he does think that is meaningful. If she doesn't think that's meaningful, he's not wrong. He needs to find somebody that finds that meaningful. That's all. Next video. Hi, hi, baby. <laughs> she loves him. Where'd she get one? What she doesn't know is that we actually already visited these same horses last week, took them for a test ride, and really, really liked them. The Ouch! Whoa! <laughs> so I decided to buy both of them. One for her, and one for me. Look, Barb, we're done horsing around. We want to buy your horses. <laughs> What do you think of this one? I love the color. Bro, can you imagine if we got here and she didn't like the horses that we already bought? <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> oh, shit, what the f- I have both the range in your hand now. Oh my gosh, she's so hot. Something about a girl on a horse. <laughs> 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 this is so cool. Babe, you look so good on that horse. Yeah? Name a better duo. I'll f***ing wait. <laughs> Damn, nice ass. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been riding horses? Um, since I was like seven. Yeah. But never like professionally. I just kind of get what I could. Because my parents never bought me a horse. Thanks, mom. You've never had your own personal horse? No. How weird. Who hasn't had their own personal horse? Dad, you want to do it here? Yeah, I can. I will. I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of getting jealous of the horse. Sort of wish she was riding yeah. me. <laughs> It'll definitely be the nicest gift I've gotten to any girl ever. I feel like the best she's gotten, too. Hopefully. It's going to be. <laughs> Yeah, you good? Mm-hmm. You like that horse? Really Do you like the horse? Mm-hmm. I think he's good. Yeah, he's so pretty and he rides so well. I'm, g I'm glad you like him, babe, because I'm going to be honest, I actually already bought him. I'm just getting this vibe that Josie really likes Logan. Just the way that she talks, she kind of talks in this. I don't, see, it is my job to get a baseline and I've never actually seen Josie talk before. So this could be how she talks all the time. She just kind of has like this childish way of her tonality, but I'm going to just take a stab and say that she's not like this with everybody and that she's doing this with her boyfriend. She's kind of having this kind of like, playful, girly, childish way of, of flirting with him. And uh, to me, that says that she's really into him and she really likes him. And I could tell that Logan is really into Josie too. 
for you. <laughs> Another thing that I'm seeing on Logan's face um, is that it doesn't seem like he's like getting this gift as just a way to um, like win back the public for the controversy from a few years ago. It looks like he really, really feels great about what he's doing for his girlfriend right here. Um, of course, like, yeah, this is great for the vlog. This is great for the views, but I have a feeling that like, he's really truly doing it because he's making his girlfriend happy. <laughs> he's not mine. No, no. You don't buy me, babe. They actually bought that one for me too. You got him? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, wait. I love as I'm talking about this stuff right now and I'm and I'm mentioning like Logan buying a horse for his girlfriend. That's when my girlfriend perks up and she starts watching the video too. Like, let's see what's going on here. Let's see what Logan Paul is doing in the dating relationship scene right now. We're taking him home today. <laughs> Great guys, you just got bought these horses and they're just coming with us today to mm -hmm. go where? Home. <laughs> to the house? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. 100% you You just build Even a stable. If we break up, you can keep them. <laughs> Aww. 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 You know, I can't accept that. It's me and Danny. Just say it. Just, just say it. Nope. Me and Danny. Literally only yours. Hey, Harley. I think she's like, I can't accept that because they've been dating for not a very long time, like less than a year, some a few months. Here's the crazy thing. I have no idea what the response from this video is gonna be. This seems like a, a pretty big change for Logan Paul's usual type of vlogs. Um, this could turn into a really big viral hit for him. I have no idea. It's kind of cool to, to, to not know and see what happens from here. You guys knew? Yeah. <laughs> we came here last week. We test rode and we liked them. You did come. Yeah. And we were fighting. Yeah. And you still did all this? Yeah. Oh. Oh, she's so sweet. Logan, you're the man. You're the man, Barb. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you're the woman, Barb. That horse is your horse. Yeah, you told me so long. I like you, just. <laughs> I almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby, I almost. <laughs> Dude, take your time. You this horse bought me another like month to be able to say it. It's gonna be real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah like I said, Old men trying to act here. cool. Now that they're you know here at our house. Babe, oh. it's gonna be fine. Yeah, yeah, it's well, yeah, be... yeah. What's the worst that can happen? It's not like two of my animals in the past have perished. Hey, I know this is all new to you. You gotta trust me. I'm a good dude. I swear to God. He's like, I am fing have it. You're not my dad. <laughs> it looks like I'm starting to see a warmer, more positive, more sweet, more mature, more passionate, purposeful side of Logan Paul. And I'm starting to like it. I just subscribed to him this week. I just became a member of his Maverick Club. Uh, not for the reasons you think I did. A little more research. We'll talk about that in a future video. I mean, listen, he's not my favorite person in the world. He's not what I think is like, he's not very charming. He doesn't really fit all of the nine traits of charm, but he's becoming definitely a lot more likable. Um, he's definitely redeeming himself in the public eye. A lot of people are talking about it. A lot of people are telling me about it. Um, and I don't think it is a put on. I don't think he's doing it just for the camera, just for uh, looking good in front of the world, redeeming himself. I think he truly is trying to better himself. And I truly think that he is becoming more mature because he had a shock to the system a couple years ago. And I think naturally from that, you get a dose of reality and tr start trying to be a better person. And this is what I'm seeing from him. Yeah, I do think a little bit of it obviously is for the camera. I mean, how could it not be that everybody is trying to look good to the world, but I think that a big part of it is who he is. So 
I give a thumbs up to Logan Paul. I'm gonna be watching more of his videos for now on. If you liked this video, let's get it to 10,000 likes and I'll do a part two with Logan and hopefully there'll be more videos on Logan and Josie and I could break those down for you. If you're interested in connecting with people on the topic of individuality, social skills, confidence, charm, relationships, dating, well, guess what? I created a Discord server called Anthony's. Research Laboratory for the Worldwide Advancement of Charm and Relationships. It is where all of my subscribers come together, connect, talk about social skills, confidence, dating, relationships, charm, and individuality, get to know each other, make friends, and improve themselves and help others in the process. You could join by just clicking the link down below. Don't be scared. There's a lot of people talking in there, but we're a very welcoming group of people. And guess what? You might even be able to talk to me. I pop in every now and then throughout the day. But if there's nothing else you want from me, guess what? You can watch another video of mine in three, two, one.